For Ball State's Mark Allstork, early on in high school, basketball success wasn't a given. Yeah, not good enough to play varsity at least, you know. I could play freshman level, JV level. Allstork's hometown, Dayton Daily News, once described his younger self as a six foot, 160 pound guard who tended to shoot the ball whenever he touched it. But fast forward to Allstork's freshman year in college, and you've got a completely different player. Once you get older and older, you really start to admire something and really get the drive to want to do something. That's what I put my mind to, so that's why I'm here today. A drive that kicked in when one day Allstork's stepdad found him lounging on the couch, chomping on chips and candy. He said, you want to play at the next level? And I said, um, I said, yeah, I think I do. He said, well, what you waiting on? You ain't been putting no work in or anything like that. So ever since that day, I remember, I, I ran about two miles, probably two miles a day. I was getting up at 6, 6 a.m., working out to 8 a.m. before school. And then after school, I, we had to practice. And then after that, I go to the Y and get another light weight lift in. That fire caught the eye of one Brett Nelson, then an assistant at Drake. First thing that stood out to me was just how competitive he is. And, you know, it didn't matter uh, who was out there. Uh, I went to a couple practices. The guy just brought it every single day. Which led to Allstork giving Nelson his commitment. He just, he came 10 hours from Iowa to come see me play about at least every, if I had a game twice a week, week he, was, he was there both games or he was at least there once. That bond ultimately led Allstork to follow Nelson to Ball State once he joined James Whitford's staff. And the transition to college became that of a typical freshman. At least at first. Allstork started his first college game, an exhibition against Marion, going 0 for 3 with three turnovers in 19 minutes. But less than a month later, the guard began regularly scoring double figure points while rising to the top of the Mid American Conference in three point shooting and dropping 21 assists over one five game span. He's night and day. You know, um, not from just a pure basketball standpoint, but, you know, Mark's starting to understand the game a lot better. The game's slowing down for him, which has really, really helped him. He's, he's making really good decisions. Coaches, he just complimented me yesterday saying the worst thing I ever did was my decision making. He said, now that's probably the best thing on the team that I do. And one thing Mark's been, he's been really coachable. And I think that's the reason his play's been really stellar as of late. And of course, with all that, comes much more trust from your coaches. You know, he's been giving me more of the green light lately and stuff like that, and let me be able to like show more and more. So as coach get more confident in me, I can just continue to play even better. What we're asking of Mark is just to take care, take care of his process every single day, which he which he's been. Uh, the, the 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 biggest thing that he needs to do is just reach his own potential, whatever that may be. If he continues to work, he'll do that. Joel Godet for BallStateSports.com.